So I just sold my Mark VI GLI today, and uh, it's really weird, like, doing anything at all anymore. Everything feels kind of, like, scammy anymore. So, like, I had a bunch of different people contact me about it. Um, the car is, like, really well taken care of, and, you know, it's definitely one of my babies so like I feel a certain way about my car and of course everybody's trying to make a deal which is fair and valid and like I fucking get it but like also me too I'm trying to make a deal too um so like the undercutters are like annoying and then you know people like oh well can you commit it to me um you know I don't want it to sell from under me and like I, you haven't given me money yet, and you haven't told me how much you want to pay for it yet, and no, I can't, I can't commit it to you. So, I found this uh, couple who wanted to buy it for their 16-year-old, and um, we ended up vibing and everything like that. Well, when it came time to them, like, okay, yeah, we really like the vehicle, they test drove it, everything went really well. Um, they really liked it the GLI and so I'm like super excited for them but it came down to them actually fucking purchasing it and it's like okay shit what do we do nobody here wants to get scammed I don't want to sign over a title without having cash eventually we kind of settled on a cashier's check and then my dad was like mm, no probably not because they can still be faked so then we did a bank wire transfer and so now at this point in time because I didn't want to do the cashier's check. We did a bank wire transfer. I didn't go with them to the bank. We did it over the phone with their bank. And um, money has not hit my account. But it says they left their account. They're gone with my car and the title. And uh, I don't know if I'm scammed. I have the person's ID. So I'm sure it's fine and I'm sure it's legit and all of that. But like selling anything is anxious anymore. Like I get, I, I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to do this anymore. I, that sucks. And the problem with it is, is like, while that sucks, it sucks even more going to a dealership because they scam you out of money for your car. So I don't know. I'm just, I'm not about this shit. This is, it's stressful. I'm stressed.